Lok Sabha today started debating on a no-confidence motion that has been moved against the Modi government by opposition parties. One would think that it would put the government on edge, not just because of the test of strength, but because these three days were touted as the beginning of the big return of Rahul Gandhi. Almost a David versus Goliath battle. Remember, this also marks his return soon after his suspension as Member of Parliament was overturned. Except that two things happened almost simultaneously. One, the speech by Rahul Gandhi to kick off the no-confidence motion didn't happen. And second, the Prime Minister calmly told a meeting of the BJP's parliamentary party that since they have won the semi-final yesterday by the passing of the Delhi Services Bill, now it's time for them to sweep the finals. According to sources, the Prime Minister also told his party MPs that the opposition alliance is Ghamandia and not India. And because of a trust deficit between them, the no-trust motion is actually their way of testing how cohesive this so-called Ghamandia alliance is. Referring specifically to the government passing the Delhi Services Bill in both houses of parliament, the PM said it was like a semi-final had been won by them and now the party is ready to hit a six on the last ball of the final, that is the trust vote. No confidence motion, as you know, that this is a Ghamandia Gathbandhan. And this Ghamandia Gathbandhan, that this is a dream that we are one in the same way. Otherwise, we have a lot of confidence. Why did we take no confidence motion? We didn't come to our understanding. But in their mind, that we are one in the same way. They want to test it for testing. एक टेस्टिंग उन्होंने कल राज्यसभा में भी की और राज्यसभा के फ्लोर पे जो भाषण हुए उससे पता चल गया कि वो कोई मजबूत ग्राउंड पे नहीं थे पर द गोइंग विल नॉट बी दैट इजी इन द फाइनल टेस्ट मैच इवन दो द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज सेइंग दैट आप आखिरी बॉल पे छक्का मारिएगा बिकॉज़ द कांग्रेस हैज प्रॉमिस्ड अ गांधी गूगली at the BJP on the last day, the Brahmastra Rahul Gandhi. The former Congress president was pegged to be the opening speaker today, but curiously, he decided to refrain. While the BJP took a swipe at this surprise development, Adhi Ranjan Chaudhary chuckled, this is going to be their surprise move. Sir, I know where I am in the morning, in the morning, there was a little girl in the Secretary General's office, श्री राहुल गांधी जी गौरव गोगे स्थान पर बोल रहे हैं क्या हुआ सर हम तो राहुल गांधी जी के भाषण सुनने के लिए हम 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 उत्सुक हैं सर हम उत्सुक हैं लेवल 55 ही है कि मैंने लेटर दैट मिस्टर राहुल गांधी इज़ गोइंग टू स्पीक व्हाट हैपेंड इन फाइव मिनट्स व्हाट इज़ द प्रॉब्लम सर वी आर वेरी मच तैयार नहीं थे देर से उठे होंगे तो नहीं बोल पाए कोई बात नहीं है गौरव गोगई जी ने बोला बहुत अच्छा बोला सर ये सोचा था कि राहुल गांधी जी की भाषण होगी और राहुल गांधी का भाषण का छोटा करने के लिए गुमड़ा करने के लिए राहुल गांधी से टक्कर देने के लिए राहुल गांधी की भाषण नहीं हुई ये बस गुगली खा गए but questions still remain about Mr. Gandhi's no-show today. Is he being saved as a final surprise for the big day, the 10th of this month, when the Prime Minister will be replying to the no-trust motion? Or did his party actually decide to change plans when it became apparent that the BJP is going to go all guns blazing on the issue of the China News Click Congress link allegation? Congress! और इनके सब एक घमंडिया जो गठबंधन है ये घमंडिया गठबंधन सभी चाइनीज मीडिया को सपोर्ट करके भारत के खिलाफ शैडियंट में कर रहे हैं ये बड़ा गंभीर मामला है इसके ऊपर सदन में चर्चा होनी चाहिए ये लोग कैसा फंडिंग करते हैं और उस फंडिंग के माध्यम से भारत विरोधी ताकतें भारत के खिलाफ क्या रिश्ता राहुल गांधी का कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी ऑफ चाइना के साथ क्या है वो ये साउंड क्या है ये सब तथ्य सामने आने चाहिए देश को पता चलना चाहिए कि इनके इनकी क्या
का मंच है ये भारत के साथ खड़े या चाइना के साथ खड़े कांग्रेस का हाथ न्यूज क्लिक के साथ न्यूज क्लिक के ऊपर चाइना का हाथ तो किसका हाथ कहां कहां मिला है सबको समझ आता है राहुल गांधी जी सदन में देश से माफी मांगिए और बताइए कि राजीव गांधी फाउंडेशन में कैसे चाइना वालों से पैसा लिया और कहां कहां इस्तेमाल किया All right, joining us on the debate, uh, we have Dr. Riju Datta, spokesperson of Trinamool Congress, Kamar Zaman Chaudhary, leader of the Congress, Lokesh Jindal, also leader of the Congress, Dr. Anand Ranganathan, author. But my first question is Nalin Kohli, national spokesperson of the BJP. I have to say it's a very rare occasion when I see so many ministers, members of your party, Mr. Kohli, saying, Hum Rahul Ji ko sunne ko utsuk hai, Hum Rahul Ji ko sunne ko utsuk hai. Maybe that's the reason why unke YouTube ka itna subscription bad hai. But that aside, how are you going to prepare for the googly the congress or rather adhir ranjan choudhary has promised they are going to bowl at you very quickly which googly the Mr. first googly, googly seems to have been a self goal it's more in football parlance i mean basically the congress built this whole hype about their national leader from the nehru gandhi family mr rahul gandhi then they changed tack now what has happened in the house it's all there for everyone to see and congress leaders had created a hype on him and one of the bjp leaders said perhaps he overslept maybe not prepared whatever be the reason but that's not true he was they there he was leader. there when gorav gogoi the spoke mr gandhi was sitting next to him is... mr gandhi was in the house <clears throat> so they so are you trying to ask me but that question can't be asked to me padmaja that are you trying to say that he was assisting mr gorav gogoi he may have been i don't know no, no. the congress so the congress is very clear well they are that, going to set it up he was assisted by as a battle hmm. of titans you kept thinking you are going to ring fence rahul gandhi but he is going to come at you when you are least expecting it who's the titans i am assuming prime minister modi and mr who's gandhi the titans No, I understand about Prime Minister Modi. That's why I asked this specific, specifically because if Mr. Rahul Gandhi is a titan, then if we can make comparisons on many ways, Prime Minister Modi is not convicted in any case. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is back in the house because his conviction is suspended. It's not been reversed. He still has a long legal battle. He has a long legal battle because he had words to say which were inappropriate. those inappropriate words were after the supreme court in 2018 19 told him in the rafael matter please be careful but mr rahul gandhi then went ahead and again spoke hmm. and said ye modi jo sare surname ke hote chor kyu hote he faced a case and then he calls this satya ki ladai how can calling a community thieves be a satya ki ladai i mean but that's his uh, point no, no. even now if you read uh, justice gavai's order no no let's not talk about the merits of the case because very it clearly says that these kind of statements talk. are uncalled for mr mr kohli the titan mr kohli i'm very specifically referring to the next 3 days the trust vote and let's face it this is going to be a test like the prime minister himself said semi final was won yesterday now it's time for the final and in the final the congress is saying they are going to do a battle of nerves with you and mr rahul gandhi is going to be the Ramban or the Brahmastra, or as Adiranjan Chaudhary said, the Googly. How will you prepare? Okay, let me take your words at face value. Let me make the take your words at face value. So this is the final, and let's now say that the BJP NDA wins the trust mode. So would you say that the Ramban or the Brahmastra of the Congress Party was a failed Ramban and a failed uh, Brahmastra? Now that's for the Congress Party to decide. but since you put it like that this question is going to be a logical question okay again you you spun it around lokesh jindal are you seriously going to have rahul gandhi go up against the prime minister i want to play out for you something that not the bjp but the bjds pinaki mishra said today about this very tactic because all of the morning there was a lot of suspense that was like oh you know mr gandhi is going to come no he's not going to come no we'll tell you 3 hours in advance maybe we won't tell you at all maybe he'll just appear here is what pinaki mishra said about your your brahmastra listen i have always believed that the congress party is adept at snatching defeat from the jaws of victory they are also very adept at cutting their nose to spite their face and i say this advisedly they know every time the prime minister has got up to speak on the floor of this house and i think his worst political adversaries 
will recognize the fact that he is a peerless orator. There is no question. I don't think there is an there is an orator today in India who matches him. There is no question. Everybody recognizes that fact. So every time he gets up on the floor of the house, he puts the Congress party through the shredder. I mean, is they actually go through a shredding machine. So I cannot understand why they should cut their nose to spite their face, ask him to come to the house and put them through the shredder as I have no doubt he will when he replies on Thursday. Bad strategy, Lokesh Jinder? I don't understand by which logic uh, the Prime Minister calls uh, the Alliance Kamandiya. I mean, you have a leader who travels from Kanyakumari to Kashmir with the people. He is there with the farmers. Sir, He's answer the question. The Mr. Jindal, labor. today everyone is asking, where was Mr. Gandhi? He was expected to speak today. Parliament. Why didn't In he fact, speak? The, Why didn't he speak? The very presence of Mr. Gandhi could have the entire parliament and the ruling party shaken it. That's why in the entire narrative of BJP, there was only one topic of discussion. That why is it Mr. Gandhi speaking? In fact, that exactly shows how much Mr. Gandhi is effective while he is not even speaking. And when he is going to start, the BJP has to be ready for that. It has to be prepared for that. And why didn't he speak? Kuch alfaz na kahe jaye to hi achhe hai. पार्लियामेंट इन फैक्ट Since the disqualification till now, it can be said that the sleeping parliament awoke again, and it has again gone back to deliberation, the function which it which it is ought to do. And with respect to Gamandia and such form of arrogant comments, hmm. I think it suits more the ruling party. All right, the Anand Ranganathan. the the you parliament has been awoken from its slumber by the very presence of rahul gandhi it seems just like the prime minister said ki aakhri ball pe chhakka maarna chahiye congress is thinking hum boundary pe khade hoke us chhakke ko pakad lenge good evening padmaja you know for the first time in a very long time i agree with my friend lokesh jindal but only uh, uh, you know partly because he is absolutely right that rahul gandhi is tremendously effective but he doesn't realize he is effective for which audience not for the congress but for the bjp that is why the bjp wanted rahul gandhi to come and speak because every time rahul gandhi speaks the number of seats that bjp will get in lok sabha shoot up so earlier while they were hoping for 250 seats now after rahul gandhi has been called again to the parliament now the bjp thinks it's going to be in 350 by star camp campaigner jo hai rahul gandhi wo bjp ka hai congress ka nahi hai but can i before i need to make three points in this and i want to include what the prime minister should have done two months ago but before that padmaja with your permission can i ask two very simple questions to my very good friend rijuda and lokesh ji okay go on thank you to lokesh lokesh are you going to like you suspended or like the congress suspended dr sanjay jha are you going to suspend or what are your views on mr sandeep dikshit siding with the government and saying that the ordinance bill should be par and as for rijuda is concerned rijuda do you think that mr choudhary of congress adhiranjan das should be sacked for saying that democracy is dead in bengal just these two simple questions answer kar dijiye so my state forward answer to dr ranganathan is that when uh, you know we are talking about the country in a bigger perspective jab malik log baat karte hain to side line mein kya awaaz ho raha hai kya farak padta hai wow is mamta banerji sonia gandhi wow. and rahul gandhi who are part of the indian line if mamta banerji takes such stand what we do that that says how does it matter wow. i hope that answer your question so, dr ranganathan so democracy is dead in bengal do you agree with that democracy is alive and i think the bengal model should be adopted by pradhan mantri modi for the country it will do a lot of good okay and i hope adhiranjan choudhary is listening to this lokesh jindal would you care to answer yes uh, when uh, with respect to what sandeep dikshit said 
Uh, well, I, I believe in party discipline and every leader who comes out with a statement must uh, realize that uh, he is representing the party and uh, he must always adhere to some basic ethos and disciplinary uh, code of conduct which a party expects its uh, members to follow. However, uh, Congress does allow a significant uh, form of an independence of thought and expression to every party member. Hmm. It could allow a certain degree of deviance from the major stand as well. That's what a democratic spirit is all about. What do you make of the strategy that Rahul Gandhi is now going to set the tone taking on Mr. Modi, presumably on the final day? That's how they are going to set it up. Narrative setting. Yes, uh, Padmaja, now to come back to this thrust of the thesis, they were always going to do that, always. Because they have to project one face against Modi. You cannot have 26 faces because that is working towards Modi's strength. So only viable face that Congress thinks that we have a, a reasonable option to Modi is actually Rahul Gandhi. Now, it is up to Rijuda and the other 25 members of this alliance to say, do they or do they not agree with Rahul being the face against Modi? And of course, they're not going to agree to it. So Congress is jumping the gun quite deliberately in asking Rahul that, you know, come forward and be a kind of a, uh, you know, counter to what Modi is saying. Hmm. Let people trust you versus what people trust Modi, but they don't realize. Interesting what Dr. Ranganathan is saying, because this is pretty much the premise of what Mr. Modi said today. He said that this trust vote is not really some great mystery for the BJP. It's actually Team India, or as they call it, Ghamandia, trying to test where they each stand. Whether they can trust you, whether they can trust RJD, whether they can trust JDU. What do you make of this? I think I think uh, Mr. Modi or the BJP or probably you, you have missed the point entirely. We know from the very get-go that the numbers are not in our favor. We are not considering this as a semi-final or a final just to pat ourselves on the back. No. We have a runaway prime minister. We have a prime minister who is absconding. We have, you know, last 15-20 minutes when you show, we have been talking about why Rahul Gandhi did not speak. But yesterday, a 90-year-old ex-Prime Minister Manmohan Singh came to the parliament in the wheelchair, but our 56-inch Chhatiwala Padhan Mantri could not speak. Hmm. So the only way the we can, the opposition, the India Alliance can make the Prime Minister speak on the floor of the parliament was to, on, and specifically on the topic of Manipur, was to get a no-confidence vote. But are you, comfortable with, are you comfortable or uncomfortable with the whole spotlight being on Rahul Gandhi? Will he come? Will he not come? Will he speak? When will he speak? Will he not speak at all? Or you think it's see, justified Rahul, spotlight? See, see, Rahul Gandhi is one of the tall leaders of the country. He, he represents one of the largest parties in the country. He has done a Bharat Zoro Jatra, so there is a lot of media frenzy behind him and a lot of people also want him. Hmm. Now, I actually want to play out a video which was very thoughtfully put out yesterday by the Congress in trying to build up Rahul Gandhi as, you know, the return of the tiger, the lion in the jungle, as it were. Just listen to this and tell me what you make of it. आज नहीं तो कल कल नहीं तो परसों और सच्चाई की जीत होती है मेरा सवाल प्रधानमंत्री जी से और सिंपल सवाल है नरेंद्र मोदी जी का अदानी के साथ क्या रिश्ता है नलिन कोहली ही इज द शेर हु इज गोइंग टू बी एट द हेल्प ऑफ अफेयर्स फॉर टीम इंडिया लीडिंग फ्रॉम द फ्रंट वट यू मेक ऑफ दिस Well, Padmada, you know I've also had a little television experience, but one change I found is earlier Mr. Gandhi used to often do like this with his sleeves. Now he started doing it with his beard. So there's a different, different change in his, uh, you know, approach. Whether it's the sleeves or this, so that is the change I found. The rest, it's a sort of a video. The Congress is entitled to make a video on their leader <clears throat> because sometimes you have to portray something in a way, and they are trying to do so. Hmm. After all, with such an embarrassment as getting convicted for inappropriate words, 
they would like to somehow build a positive narrative. But let me pick up on a statement that was used just before you asked me the question. Is this moral victory thing? So moral victory is often picked up by those who are certain of defeat. Because you know you're not going to win, so you claim a moral victory. So moral victory sometimes is a euphemism for certain defeat. So that's exactly how they are. Now let's basically say there is great born homie, Dhamandia, as Prime Minister Modi calls it. No, but why are you India, calling them Dhamandia? Call Tell us about that it's first of all. Everyone's flummoxed. Suddenly, based... like India has turned into Ghamandia. Gaurav Gogoi said in uh, the Lok Sabha today that you're insulting the very name India. What's Ghamandia? Well, that is what Prime Minister Modi has put out. And he's very good with his words. As we heard Pinaki Mishra also say it on the, house of, uh, on the floor of the house. But I think it has to do with the arrogance of families. They are family-centric parties. The glue which is getting them together is the to get over their own contradictions is somehow come to power. Let's take, for example, Karnataka elections. No sooner the elections were over, they said, we have no funds for development. We have to first meet the freebies. Forget development. Hmm. They said, cut, cut money, cut money from BJP. Today, their own people are saying... And people in Karnataka are saying that this government has not been in office for even two months and cut money demands are there. So what was the agenda? This is, I think, the important thing. So when Prime Minister Modi uses the word Gamandia, it is about the arrogance that for our family interest, hmm. for our self-interest, we are willing to go to any extent, overcome any contradiction, even with those who we were at each other's throats till yesterday. Hmm. You are getting support from everyone, Kamar Zaman Chaudhary. But through this whole thing, there is also a deep suspicion that perhaps when the BJP started raising the issue of news click and the support of Congress for news click, there was a rethink. Why? Because I want to show you a tweet from today morning. Today morning itself, the Congress said, Aaj Jan Nayak Sadan mein bolenge. This is something that you said at 11.28 a.m. Aaj Jan Nayak bolenge. What changed? Was it because Nishikan Dubey started talking about news click? and about Neville Roy Singham. Abhi toh aap keh rahe te, sher aya, sher aya, sher aya. Phir Jan Nayak ne kuch bola hi ne. Atmaja, for the last 25 minutes that we are having this debate, I was invited to discuss on the no confidence motion. And presumably why we brought the no confidence motion was the incompetence of the BJP government in Manipur. And the discussion that was happening in parliament was on that topic only. But we are very much surprised and ashamed to have parliamentarians from the Bhatia Janta Party who are not discussing, who are discussing everything else on the, under the sun, starting from Chinese funding to Rahul Gandhi to Ghamandia to semi-final final to the India Alliance, but not even a single word on the thousands and thousands of people lying outside their homes in Manipur. On the incompetence of that the government. That is not true. Actually, Kiran Rijuju spoke at length. Home ministry. In I could not hear all the debates. But I can count at least no, no, three wait, people, wait, wait, wait. three MPs who spoke very specifically no, no. about Manipur. And Kiran Rijuju went to great lengths to talk about what Manipur has been through and what is happening there right now. The, now tell me. I want to ask you specifically. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. I want to ask you specifically that when we were told that there is going to be an unsparing attack on the BJP and the Modi government from Rahul Gandhi and Jan Nayak Garjenge, what changed? Nothing changed. Padmaja, you must understand the parliamentary procedures out here. Who led the no confidence motion? It was Gaurav Gagoi, the deputy leader of the largest opposition in the Lok Sabha. He led the opposition fight in attacking the Modi government against his incompetence in no, Manipur. Today morning, in the list that was given to the speaker, today morning, in the list that was given to speaker Om Birla, Mr. Gandhi's name was listed right at top. We'll just open that up also. But Mr. Gandhi's name was listed right at top before Gaurav Gogoi, and then eventually it was crossed out. I understand. What, what changed? You are suggesting? No, no. Parliamentary. Parliamentary Here, procedures let me actually show our viewers. This is the list that was given. Type. Number one was Rahul Gandhi. Number two was Gaurav Gogoi. Number three was Manish Tiwari. Then there was Revant Reddy and Deepak Bej. Eventually, Rahul Gandhi's name was crossed out. What changed? That is the basic point you need to understand. Congress party was allotted a specific time of one hour to speak on this topic, on the no-confidence motion. 
So it's up to the leader of the house, Adiranjan Chaudhary, a leader of the largest opposition in the Lok Sabha. Adiranjan Chaudhary should decide whom to speak, whom to first, and whom to go next. Huh. Nothing to count, uh, what you call this, a, a big, big, uh, out of the entire episode out here. Rahul Gandhi will of course be speaking. Huh. There will be a counter rebuttal coming from the BJP. Don't worry, it's a three day long, no confidence motion. Nothing to be getting excited that Rahul Gandhi has chickened out. No. He no, no, nobody is not is the one to be chickened out. He is just going curious. To Dr. Anand Ramanathan, do you think it's government. curious? This change, it's curious? Yeah. No. Pabla, it was a very simple question to Kamruji. When the Congress said this morning that Rahul Gandhi is going to speak, and in the end he did not speak, what was the reason? It's a very simple question. I don't know why Mr. Chaudhary, uh, the erudite Mr. Chaudhary is going round and round in circles. Either say that yes, he chickened out, or if you don't want to use that direct language, just say that he's postponed his interventions to tomorrow or day after, or whenever he's free from whatever else he's doing. Hmm. But can I please get Can't back he... to the thrust? Kamruji, I didn't interrupt you. Yeah, go on. I didn't interrupt you. Please let me say, I'll be very brief because, you know, the, the real strange thing amidst all this Padmaja is that the prime minister should have spoken more than a month ago or at least when the parliament convened because he has the data on his side. I don't know why the BJP to begin with was squeamish and the prime minister did not speak because barring the two months, which anyway are being deliberated in Supreme Court, the situation in Manipur has been more stable than it ever has been in the last 20 years. He has the data to prove it. I don't know why the BJP, and let me tell you one thing. Hmm. It is not anyone's uh, grouse that the opposition routinely walks out. So what? Let the opposition walk out. The show in the parliament what the prime minister would speak is for 1.4 billion people. Even if 200 people don't want to listen to him, so what? We don't care. I want to listen to him. I want the data and facts from, from my prime minister. What's stopping him? This is what is the problem with the current ruling dispensation. That they want to answer every time only the opposition. Answer us. Okay, Nalin Kohli, you've made the ground ripe for the Congress to do all this showboating and then, you know, come out as this, this sort of this great, we pulled the Prime Minister into Parliament and forced him to answer. And therefore, we got a moral victory. So we had a great strategy, we lost. And we'll now say we got a moral victory. That's exactly what the Congress Party's position is. Now let's come back to the, your previous point in terms of the list. The list given to the honorable speakers by the Congress party is not by the BJP. We don't propose who will speak from their side. In that list, Rahul Gandhiji's name is admittedly on the top. They announce it with a video. Just now you showed that video also in a new form sort of Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Now after that is changed suddenly, then the question that logically arises is who had a rethink? Is it Mr. Rahul Gandhi or the Congress party? Hmm. Either way, it's a pertinent question. Either Mr. Rahul Gandhi had a rethink that I don't know, I don't want to start. For some reason, who knows. Or the Congress party suddenly had a rethink. No, 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 it's a bad idea. Because if it was a good idea, Mr. Rahul Gandhi would have started. So somebody in the Congress first thought it's a great idea. Everybody built upon it. And then somebody in the Congress said it's not a great idea. And then it fell. That's the crux of it. And the Congress says all of this is to force Prime Minister Modi. I mean, this utter confusion, lack of confidence at the Congress party and other opposition parties end just because they speak and they can speak in parliament. They are supposed to speak in parliament. They are the ones who are boycotting it. Who mm. stopped them from speaking? They can speak every day. There are rules under which you can speak. The government has been saying we want to speak. We want to have a debate. We are not running away from a debate. Hmm. It's the Congress party and the others who are running away. Dutta, and the after that, they only confirm that they are it, running away. Making by it awkward for you as well? See, if Rahul Gandhi's name was there in the list and he did not speak, if that is baffling, then there is another couple of things which is very baffling to me. Is that the Honorable Prime Minister, who should have spoken, like Dr. Ranganathan said, that in 140 billion people want to hear it, he spoke on Manipur. It is not that, that he has not spoken. He has spoken on Manipur, outside the walls of the parliament, before the beginning of the mon monsoon session, for 36 seconds. So my question to Kohli is, then it was whose decision that he will not speak inside the parliament? Whose decision was it to hide the prime minister from the parliament? The BJP needs to answer these questions. And more baffling is, then you have 110 more members in the Rajya Sabha hmm. of the BJP who are not as half-heroded as Dr. Ranjanath. 
happen. Why is he not there? These are two most baffling questions to me. That when the Prime Minister spoke for 36 seconds outside the parliament, what was the decision of the BJP for not letting him speak inside? Riju Dutta, such and high praise, praise such high praise, your party has just sent a few people to the Rajya Sabha. Next time, please give as impassioned a plea in favor of Dr. Ranganathan in your own party's offices. <laughs> I will leave it at that, gentlemen. Next two days are going to be very important politically. We'll keep a close watch. Thanks, gentlemen.